Good evening, YouTube. It's your man, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. And the gentleman I got for you is one Mr. Well, actually, Dr. Dudley E. Flood. And he is considered the man who desegregated um, schools in my home state of North Carolina. Now, if you know anything in the history of uh, segregation, you know, in the early days before um, the, um, the, the early uh, civil rights movements, Many um, black and white children were, 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 the whole saying was separate but equal. Most of the time you didn't go to the same school as today is now with the same kind of kids of different, um, um, my, uh, different races. You know, white kids went to their school, black kids went to their schools. You know, like Mexicans went to theirs and Chinese went to theirs. But now you have, you know, desegregation across the board uh, almost every school in America. There's still some people where some places where there's more um, one color in one school and other and you know whatever else but you know this man here helped desegregate, desegregate um, schools in North Carolina. Now Dr. Dudley E. Flood was born September 13th of 1937. Now he grew up as one out of nine kids in a family out of Winton, North Carolina. A small community in Winton where you know it wasn't much for a lot of you know they were not very a wealthy family but they weren't a very poor family that thing with black people sometimes you certain neighborhoods you you might have a little more affluence among um the community well you know for you know he when he was coming up his older sister they called minnie went to was a teacher by the time he joined first grade and because of her it inspired him to want to become an educator himself and get a career as a teacher now he was really, you know, into uh, uh, academic and development, and beginning with a few and limited um, education, especially at that time. You know, because of her, even she was able to, even Minnie was able to go to college, but at the time she couldn't afford it, so there was no real way to, you know, for college back then. But she made a way. Now, you know, as a, he was growing up, the, his um, school he went to, went to elementary for his first grade, and it wasn't that far from home. Then later, he graduated from C.S. Brown High School and then he attended um, North Carolina Central University and he got his bachelor's in, in 1954 and started teaching in 1955. He came principal in 67 at Pitt County School from 68 to 70 and during his time as a teacher, he taught 8th grade um, English, Math and Science. He was also a high school, high school um, social studies teacher and as well as a varsity football and basketball coach. During his time as a teacher, he, he and another, he was a few, there was a few schools still under segregation even after um, Brown versus the Board of Education back in 54. Now, if you didn't know any of the history about Brown versus the Board of Education, that was a you know, landmark um, case for which the great late um, Dr. Good Thur no, um, Judge, um, um, Judge Thurgood Marshall made his claim. It was a, it was a case where the, they wanted to desegregate schools across the board, not just in you know, the South, but everywhere. And, you know, it's, it's a very known case. And that was a case that got Thurgood Marshall onto the Supreme Court many years later. Now, just look up history, um, Brown versus the Board of Education. You, know, you just read it if you get a good chance. Now, after some time, even after 15 years after Brown versus, um, versus Board of Education, many schools in South Carolina were still segregated. But during this time, Dr. Flood wanted to desegregate, desegregate schools, so he had an overwhelming resistance from um, the school board officials. Along the way with another member of the uh, Department of Public um, Instruction, they crisscrossed the state and did many communities to desegregate the schools. They talked to parents, students, and teachers of sw the sway to fight for the right to end segregation in North Carolina. One of the toughest tests was in Hyde County, where, him, where he and others boycotted the almost for at least a year and him and his partner, the job was to together get the kids and parents back to school. They, they did have decided to hail a, a community-wide discussion. 
Many, from, many people from the, the communities came, including students, parents, teachers. Also, certain groups were there, possibly, possibly come cause of this situation, such as the Black Panthers and the KKK, ex, aka the Ku Klux Klan. But with his efforts, they was able to um, end the segregation and from the new foundation for public um, education in North Carolina. Besides having a bachelor's degree, he earned a master's in education administration from um, Eastern, Eastern um, Carolina um, University. Then from Duke, he, in the 80s, he obtained his, another um, doctorate. He also had included um, in, in, 1920, in, in 2017 was inducted into the Raleigh Hall of Fame for Education. Even after retiring, he still works as a, as a consultant for schools. Now, like I said, this man, he, he did something great for my state and great for black people, for us to be able to get, the, the, to get more education. As you know, education for us back then in those days was limited. You couldn't because you weren't you weren't white or your family had the money. You couldn't get as much education. Most time, like my mother, my mother when she she dropped out of um, school around sixth grade, and she had to work farms like like a lot of people did back that time. You know, we get to the point where we can read enough. Hey, you can go you can go to work. As long as you can count and you can read just enough, that's good enough for for most families. I know some families where you know maybe it's generations that the, the, the first person that graduated from high school you know and that's just something amazing you know and now these days high school is wasn't enough back then those days high school was enough now even with college it still wasn't enough but like i said this man fought to end the segregation in north carolina and dr flood and his partner and every other parent and and civil rights activists i want to thank you because i graduated from from high school. I did a little college, but you know what? The proudest thing with me, with my, my day, when I walked across that um, stage, I got my diploma, how my family was so proud of me. They clapped for me. And I wish I did, you know, I wish I would have followed fathers can, but as you know, sometimes you do as much as you feel like you want to do, and then, you know, coming up, work is always something that happens, so, you know, there been so many opportunities. I wish I'd done more with my life, with college and, and my education, but I did, I did as far as I wanted to go. But I'm in a good place. But like I said, I want to thank you, Dr. Flood, because you helped our children, you know, to, to find a place where they were denied, but because of the color of the skin. You're a great man. This is your man, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, describe. I'm out.